Alright, welcome back everybody to Snow Panda Gaming and to, uh, this time to Rome 2. Uh, there's a new DLC released called Empire Divided, which we're gonna have a look. Uh, I'm gonna title this Let's Try, because I'm not sure if this is gonna be a full playthrough, but, uh, at least we're gonna look at the, uh, new mechanics and the new scenario that is, uh, Empire Divided. So, let's have a look. Basically, this is, um, start year 270 AD, so Rome has established itself as a major power already. But, uh, there's some, been some bad emperors up to this point, and, uh, after the last emperor died, this, um, this, uh, Roman Empire has fallen into deep crisis. It has divided into three, or actually four. There is the, uh, Aurelian, who is leading the remnants of Rome. He has, uh, as you can see from the map, most of uh, Greece and modern-day uh, Baltic... No, not Baltics. Uh, what's it called? Balkans, yeah. And a bit of uh, areas from the north as well, and, and Africa. He has client states in uh, Anatolia and Egypt, and uh, on the North African coast as well, in Libya and... Uh, no, sorry, um, Algeria and uh, Morocco. Um, there's also Gallic Rome, which is uh, France and has a... Or Gallia, I, su I suppose. And uh, has client states in, in Britannia and, uh, and Spain. The third one is Palmyra, which is, um, I think, modern-day Syria and the Israel and Palestine and Jordan and those countries. Uh, it's, it's civil war, three-way civil war. Rome is actually held by neither of those. There's a uh, Roman successionist uh, holding that area. So these three are fighting out to get it back and unite Rome back again. There's also other factions you can play, Germanic nations. Uh, Saxons start in uh, northern uh, Germany and, and Denmark. Gothi are in, what is this, I guess Moldova and uh, Ukraine and a bit of uh, maybe Romania there. Marcomanni start in Germany, southern Germany. So these are like uh, pretty barbaric hordes. as well. Well, not hordes, they do have settlements, but uh, yeah, barbaric nations at least. There's also Eastern Empires, the Sassanids, which is uh, when Parthia fell. Uh, the last uh, Arsacid, how do you spell that? Arsacid? Arsacid maybe? Arsacid king? A uh, new dynasty has risen in its place, the Sassanid Persians, so they control most of uh, what is Iraq and Iran nowadays, and they have client states, quite a lot of them actually. So, that's one major faction, then there's Armenia, which is actually a client state of the Sassanids. So, that's interesting as well. We have nomadic tribes, Alani, which is the only um, nomadic tribe at the, at the game you can play at least. There's also Britannic Celts, you, so you can pay as Caledoni in Scotland. But I think uh, there's quite a lot of Let's Plays of, of these uh, Roman factions, which are obviously the main factions in this game, but I'm gonna play as as the Sassanids. I think they're... Um, uh, well, this is an interesting uh, a nation in that it's... Um, it's pretty strong in the start, but you have enemies all around, so I think it's going to be an interesting start. It's the only one also which has an initial challenge easy, so I haven't played Rome in, in uh, I don't know, at least a year. So it's going to be a nice way for me to establish myself at the, in the game as well, again. So yeah, let's go with it. Uh, I'm going to play as normal. 
And let's see, I could leave this. With the decline of the Parthian Empire and the defeat of the last Arsacid, Arsacid, maybe Arsacid, Arsacid king, a new dynasty has risen in it in their place. The Sassanid Persians have uh, succeeded the Parthians as the new eastern superpower and rival to Rome. Swiftly marshalling their military forces into rapid expansion, they have quickly reconquered many of the eastern provinces that had fallen into lawlessness lawlessness or independent rule. Having forced uh, faced defeat in, uh, inflicted at Roman hands at the city of Hatra in modern day Iran and in the strategically important hills of Armenia where Rome's well organized legions finally pushed back the burgeoning Persian war machine the scene is set for many future confrontations. However, now Rome's strength lies in tatters. The Sassanids could capitalize on their mortal enemy's current state of disarray. Um, uh, ancient Persia's glory de legacy may yet be revived. So, as Shapur took the throne as assassin ruler of Persia, it's, he sends Rome weakness in AD 250, so 20 years ago. He invaded Mesopotamia, re uh, reaching as far as the Roman provinces of Syria and Armenia. The greatest victory was against Emperor Valerian, who was captured alive. Just when all looked lost, the Roman allies in Palmyra intervened and pushed the assassin forces back to Tsesiphon. Butchering that name, I guess, but here we go. Reclaiming the lost eastern promises for themselves. After Shapur's death to, the, to illness, his son Hormizd, Hormizd <laughs> took the reins of the empire, vowing to continue the fight against Rome and bring unimaginable greatness to the house of Sasan. So yeah, that's the starting thing. But uh, let's see. Advisor help we don't need much at least. Nightmare mode. Adds the scare everyone trait to all units in a single player campaign. Custom battles enables spooky battlefields and harpies. Okay. Guess that's maybe uh, some sort of uh, Halloween thing maybe? I don't know. Battle time limit? Yeah, one hour is, is pretty okay. Victory conditions is a lot. I'm not sure, like I said, this is probably not going to be a full playthrough. It's going to be a let's try, so maybe a few episodes, see how it looks, if I like it enough, uh, and if I have time, I'll maybe finish it. But uh, for now, just a uh, look on the uh, new things this uh, DLC gives. Do every act of your life as it were your last. Marcus Aurelius, Roman Emperor, AD 121, 180. Alright. So, there are new um, features to the game. Uh, mainly the political uh, factions are more represented in the game. That is actually part of the free DLC that came with this patch. But this patch or or DLC uh, is is more about the this particular scenario. It also adds um, I think it's robbers to the game and cults, religious cults, and also uh, I think there's plagues now. So you need to have your sanitation in order as well. I think they featured that in Attila. So not sure it was in Rome too. I think not. But uh, I could be wrong. But it's pretty interesting. That's like the main features um, for this game. And now we we're going to wait for our my laptop to load this thing in. Queen 
Zenobia marches her armies into our lands. This is unacceptable. Give us an emperor from humble beginnings. Give us a leader our armies will follow. Give us Emperor Aurelian! Alright, that was the intro cinematic. cinematic. You were the third Sassanid Shine Shah. The stars have ordained that you will eclipse your great predecessors, Ardashir and Shapur. Your satraps protect most of the borders, leading you free to wage war against the desert kingdoms to the southwest, while maintaining an uneasy truce with Palmyra. The Roman provinces to the northwest are an enticing yet difficult prize. You also need to deal with the Dahe, who threaten both your lands and those of your satraps. As for the satraps themselves, be wary of Sakistan, for the Sakas are descended from a freedom-loving nomadic tribe prone to revolt. Alright, that was the story of our uh, kingdom so far. Objective issued, the conquest of Arabia. The lands of Arabia were pretty home to the petty desert kings who boasted of their wealth. To put an end to the hubris, Shahanshah Hormits chose to conquer their kingdoms. Okay. So we need to uh, get Arabia Magna. Alright, trouble times. In the recent year, the whole world has been torn by wars and strife. The weakening of the Roman Empire has given rise to banditry everywhere. Alright, so that's the new mechanic, banditry. Trade between settlements has uh, become almost impossible. Standing armies and outposts can help increase the safety of provinces, while certain uh, reforms can make settlements more self-sufficient. With cities being overwhelmed, squalor has become a serious issue. If we are to avoid uh, an outbreak of plague, we have to find ways to reduce squalor, such as sanitation buildings and reforms. So that's the other mechanic with the plague. Alright, here we go. Let's have a look what we have. So, these are our lands. I think uh, this is the new political system. So you have your own house and then you have two others. And if there w will be a civil war, this is the area they will control or which will break free and you have to fight against. So, I think there's uh, some sort of mechanic to keep them relatively like close to each other or like unified so we'll see that later on faction ownership so this is ours diplomatic status okay so now we can see we are at war with the Lachmids, Dahe and Lydia okay I think this is a Roman province these are the nomadic tribes and uh, then I think these are some hordes but interesting we have a three-way war already which is bad I think these are my armies so I have three armies currently let's see yeah this is our capital immortal infantry I think these are pretty good this is our Shah or Shahan Shah I guess is the correct term um, Anatolian slingers, alright. What we can recruit some skull cavalry, horse archer cavalry, skirmish horse archer cavalry, and then some peasants, I guess. So not much. What else do we have? We have this this was the main army, then we have Fury of Veretraga. Ragna, I guess. Um Oh, this is only cavalry. Persian horse archers and, and dilemite. Dilemite cavalry. Alright, and then we have a third army here. Dilemite infantry and Persian skirmishers. So not really, we don't have a 
full army, and then we have one uh, Magus. I think I'll actually put this here to help with the income. Which of our province makes the most income? Parthia makes the most interesting. Oh, Mesopotamia is not complete. We are missing Edessa, which is Palmyra's ownership. So, what should we do? I think I feel like this Persia is in the middle. This could be like our uh, economic base because simply because um, it's not threatened by anything. Harz Harmosia and Bam are not either, but there here are the Sakastan, which is supposed to be rebellious. And then we have one settlement from Media Magna, and this is our satrapy of what? Media? Okay. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's have a look at the uh, diplomacy. And see who we can trade with, for example. Sakastan, but they hate us. Military action against, against Sakastan. Diplomatic missions to Sakastan. Okay, past war. So we have the past war where we probably uh, subjugated them, so they probably won't want Am I always to be disturbed by foreigners? To trade? No. Actually, gonna turn that sound down a bit. It's a bit loud. Alright, maybe it's a bit too... Sh Too low now, but you let me know. All right, so who can we trade with? Sakastan, Palmyra don't like us either. Media, they like us, so In my Lord let's trade. Thank you. I agree and admire your sense and clear thinking. It's a bit annoying that this matter. keeps resetting themselves. Muscat, maybe. Hmm. Might actually conquer them, so I'm not gonna trade with them now. Although I have three wars now, so that will be a while when we have a chance to attack them. So I accept. When two ride on the same car. Margiana, it's my satrapy here. Okay. In my lord's name. Trade agreement. Yes. Thank you. I am humbled by your honorable words. I accept. Come. We have prepared the feast of Armenia the like us as well. Household are yours, twin. Let's trade. May the gods <clears throat> you many times over. Your wisdom brings much joy. Get it here as well. Yeah, let's trade with I you. I greet you in my master's. We can ask no more. Your proposal. So Sakastan really hates us. Interesting. I might need to send a diplomat there. I think it's possible. The uh, political scheme has, uh, or scenery has, has changed a bit. So we have House Hassan. We have 40% influence in the government. So we are overlooked. Okay. We are Eastern culture, capital, yes, we have three provinces, blah, 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 politics, these two, so we have, these are generals, so we have two generals of, and uh, one, which is our, from our house, and one from the Sogdianes, no, oh, sorry, Asbabhad Pahlai. House. Pahlav, I guess. Um, Alright, so maybe I'll send this guy to um, Sakastan. Mm. Organize the feast. Administer, you know, diplomat is the way to go, right? So let's send them there. On a mission, takes one turn it seems. Ooh, right. So let's have a look at our 
places we have Parthia. Village for Jarstus, there's an infantry camp here. Alright, so maybe it's, uh, we'll make this our recruitment thing. Same with Mesop Mesopotamia. I think we'll have these two as our recruitment poles, and then the rest will most likely be um, economic places, more or less. So what can we do? Well, we have technology to do. We attack, alright. Let's do uh, civil first, so we get a bit of more money. I think we're making pretty okay money, but, uh, you know, more never hurt. We have eight population surplus here. It takes four, so we could upgrade two of these. Um, and this needs um, technology to uh, upgrade. Infantry camp. I guess I'll make... Uh, animal breeder here and then what else do we have so we have these shrines which gives each an eastern cultural influence but we do have these cult uh, gathering places as well this will get Manichean cultural influence okay so how is the cultural influence here it's going down that's bad I mean uh, Sanitation research rate, yeah, it's all right, but uh, not sure if it's worth it. Also, it imp increases land rec unit recruitment costs. So I, I think I'll just dismantle this. Actually, why would we want it? Can't see the point. All uh, right. So do we have food here? We do, but not that much. Career port. Oh, that helps with the banditry. Can we see the bandit? Yeah, there's the banditry. Okay, so contributing armies. Okay, bandit threat is zero percent currently. Okay, I guess there are going to be events to it and and whatnot. So religious gathering cult. Okay. Build food, food th things here. All right. How about Mesopotamia? Hathra is there. That's in the front line. I don't want to have my recruitment building there. So maybe I'll put it here. Country camp. They have a Manichean community cult here as well, which is making the um, oh, it's pretty high actually. Oh, this is the second level of it. I'm not sure if I want to keep it. It's pretty bad. And have the... Oh, they have the animal breeder there already. Okay. We could do a career post. More tax rates. Religious shrine. Well, we already have a shrine here. Trading post. This is giving a bit of food. Not much, though. Call from mining. Yeah, let's just build those. Alright, how about you? We could build you up as well. This is not really growing, is it? No. So they have iron here. Maybe we'll just put a mine here. I guess the public order. Hmm. How's the culture? Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, let's put a mine here. Make it that that mining colony. Right, uh, we're running out of money a bit, so maybe we'll do recruitment at this point. Forgotten warriors, we were at war with these Lachmids, so I think I'll just head th that way. 
Go to the border and recruit some dudes. Eastern uh, horse archers, horse skirmishers. Which is better? I don't know. Seven animation. Maybe I'll do these. I do like horse archers. Yeah, let's do those. And then we'll probably wait two turns to get this so we can get some uh, skirmishers and levy spearmen. How about you? You can only get exactly those. I mean, why not? We were war with those, so let's move towards here. And, um, oh, we can upgrade these guys. Okay, let's do that, actually. 900 gold, yeah, that's good. Levi Spearman. Couple of skirmishers, why not? These dudes, well, we have, hmm. Maybe I'll actually come um, this way. Couple of turns and we can recruit some dudes. We could also build it here. I'm not sure we have the money though. Let's build some industry. Or actually a trading post. 1.3k. Yeah, I think I'll come... I feel like the Sakastan might be alright now. So oh, I, I could upgrade them. these all. 850, okay. I guess that's our money. So uh, let's force march this way. So, um, all right. Any diplomatic actions we could do? Anybody who likes us? Ardhan? Okay, how about, uh... Most excellent friend. Oh, it, it's a such a pain, is it? What? Please be seated and take wine to cool the head before we hit the day with words. No aggression pack, maybe? Yes. Truly, my good and noble. Okay, cultures. I don't hate man. you either. And burden yourself of diplomacy, and let us find agreement here. In the fact, I came Shame I can't a trade with this. Armenia is in the way. Granted you generosity in abundance. Get her here. Okay. Kamira. Sakastan really hates me. Lydia hates me. Well, we are at war with them. Lakhmids. Dahe. Sakastan. Okay. Sounds good. That's the first turn. So it's in turn. Issue edict. Alright, so we have a couple of promises which are fully ours. So we can issue an edict. I think the public order is pretty okay. Recruitment cost. That might be actually it for now. We're recruiting like hell. How about I cancel these? Nah, fine. It I think it detects uh, takes effect uh, next turn. So purses. Let's make some money here. Carmania. Let's make some money here, here as well. All right, that's it. Hopefully we can consolidate the other factions first and then go after Palmyra. I think that's soil that's rightfully ours, right? So we're going to crush them. Okay, research complete. Political intrigue has developed. The diplomatic mission, uh, Sakastan. Your diploma has returned with a generous tribute. Wow. The royal crown. Every new ruler is adorned with personal royal crown, a symbol of his majesty. As the new Shahanshah, what you do wish your crown symbol to be. Simurg, the symbol of Sasanian dynasty, the symbol of Farah Vahara. Va 
Fara Vahara. Okay, the symbol of our people, our faith, and purpose of life. Vereth Ragna, the symbol of victory, sacred fire, the symbol of life and growth, heat and light, food and shelter. Uh, sacred fire sounds good. Dai and Quasim, alright. Issue edict. Good, good, good. That is also the 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna put a cut in here. Come back next time when we'll uh, crush these enemies we have made here. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.